the Mix is presented by Kama Takoyaki Cafe. Located in between Guam Reef and Weston Hotel in Tumon, call them today at 648-TAMA. Hafadei Guam, welcome to another episode of In The Mix. I'm Jonagan Charfris, thanks so much for tuning in. We have a great show lined up for you this evening. Coming up, we get a recap of the Stoli bartending competition which took place on Wednesday night. A little bit later, we head on over to Sinahanya and check out what Love Cafe is serving up. And we close out with the music from Trey Cunningham. But first, if you happen to be in the southern village of Inarahan, you're gonna definitely wanna check out the Hotnu Bakery. Here's more. Hi, I'm Anthony Matanonia and I am the lead baker here at the Historic Kinilahan um, Museum and also the Hotnu Bakery. What is a Hotnu? It's a traditional Spanish dome-shaped oven that can reach temperatures of up to 700 degrees. It's safe to say whatever items are placed inside will be made quicker and yes, you can taste the difference. According to Matanonia, it all started when Judy Flores approached him. She knew that I knew how to bake and uh, uh, over at Jeff Pablo, she hired me as a crafter, and then what led on to the revitalization of Inneron, the village of Inneron, uh, to restore George Flores uh, Museum uh, with, with Kaha and as well as Guam Preservation Trust. Uh, we went on ahead and got a grant, or she got a grant, uh, to build a Hotel Bakery. Flores needed someone to bake and offered Metanonia to participate. What led to an apprenticeship program became actually a, a business. and. With all the efforts from, you know, from Auntie Judy, all the, all the uh, work she's done, uh, we've been in operation now for two years with the bakery. So why Inarahan? Well, aside from the capital of Paganya and Pneumatic, Inarahan is one of the oldest villages on island, and with that comes so much history and rich culture. With a lot of efforts from the community, and again, like I said, with having the Hotel Bakery here, it's bringing back history. Uh, some of the kids that, are, that you see around here, they've earned their community hours uh, through uh, their service learning hours just by coming down here and volunteering their time. And why not let them own, own this because it's their village as well as it being their own uh, culture. And uh, it being an ideal place, uh, it's, it's, I mean, it's wonderful to have just have people to come down here and just see the South, see uh, history. It warms his heart to know that people make the trek down south just for his baked goods. Sometimes they come down here and we, we run out of bread, we run of, uh, out of uh, our, our, our baked, baked goods that I feel kind of um, sad about that. But then again, on the lighter side, well, someone had told me that if you're running out, then that's something good. Uh, I guess we just have to prepare ourselves more every day or every time we, uh, our operation, uh, we open up for operation. And it's no wonder why these guys are running out. The baked goods that the Hotna Bakery is whipping up is so good. Just last week alone, the bakery went through 150 pounds of flour, and that's just for three days. We try to keep it much uh, more traditional, uh, like the pantuba. It's just that it's so scarce now with the pantuba, with the, with the things going on with the, you know, the coconut tree, the rhino beetles. Uh, at the same time, the weather, uh, it's so hard to get tuba and the person that I get the tuba from is always running out. Uh, it's pan tuba is another one. We do rosqueti. Uh, with whatever leftover we have, which is seldom, we make pan tosta. And then again we have uh, cake chamorro. Uh, the one that runs, the one that's normally ordered a lot is the cinnamon rolls, the coconut bread, and then of course we have pizzas. Okay, now I'm sure many of you are probably thinking, why am I going to travel all the way down to Inner Rohan when I can find these items at almost any store or bake shop? Trust me, you know the difference. From the way the heat creates a beautiful golden brown color on the outside and leaves it super moist in the middle, to the crispiness and flakiness of the pizza crust, you definitely know. My mom is a baker and uh, she has a special recipe that she makes cinnamon rolls uh, every Sunday she would, uh, you know, I'll wake up to the smell of cinnamon rolls, but I don't have that recipe. His sister does, and let's just say she's keeping it to herself. But that's okay, because Tony's auntie handed down a recipe that he ended up tweaking just a bit. And as if sampling some of the yummy coconut bread and cinnamon rolls wasn't enough, Matanonya shared some fantastic news with us. I got awarded to open up at Chamorro Village uh, for Hotnu 2, and it's uh, 
fest for Festpack and beyond, especially Festpack coming next year. Uh, this would be actually an ideal, ideal project because it's history. It's also you know our tradition. Um, yes, we were occupied by the Spanish for 300 years. We can't deny that. So that's still part of our history. So it's. It's a good thing, and I and I thank the Kaha board, uh, the selecting committee. Uh, I thank them very much for awarding me this. And uh, Hot Nutru is on its way. So if you find yourself in the southern village of Inarahan, or you're up for a nice island stroll, make your way over to the Hot Nutru Bakery. I guarantee it's worth every mile on that speedometer of yours. Hours of operation are Thursdays from 4 p.m. to 8 p.m. and Saturday and Sunday from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. Matunotnya highly recommends that you call the bakery at 989-5340 to make sure they haven't sold out. You can also check out the Kinanitano Street Fair that takes place on San Jose Avenue in Inarahan once a month, where the George Flores Museum and the Hotnu Bakery are the heart of the event. I invite the whole island to come down and see, like what this retired teacher told me, um, thank you for opening the pages of history. Uh, I'll be inviting people to come down and see the history of uh, operating from a Spanish open door. A big thank you to Tony and the entire staff. Make sure to check them out and tell them that In The Mix sent you. Stick around because after this quick timeout, we get a recap of the Stoli Bartending Competition. You're watching In The Mix.